Every $200 we raise, another kid will get surgery. We're an incredibly efficient organization. We've set up an online platform to make this as easy as possible for you to contribute and share with your friends. With your help and by reaching out to your friends and colleagues, I know that we can reach the goal of doubling the number of children that receive surgical care next year. Well, our mission is to literally uh, change lives, save lives, oftentimes, uh, through intervention medical care, uh, most of it surgical care. But we've helped now since 2001, when it, we, we started out doing this as an organization, we've helped 45,000 people get um, access to life-changing medical care and almost 10,000 now uh, specifically surgeries. Uh, we do hernias, for uh, children uh, that are born with hernias. We do hernias for their fathers and their mothers, the fathers that you know, need to be able to work out in the field every day to, to bring home the bacon, and sometimes literally. Um, mm -hmm. And we, we do a lot of cleft lips and palates. Uh, children, I mean, in the States you, you really don't see too many cleft lips and palates. But you may occasionally see a scar that somebody has, and for the most part, people get those fixed within a, a couple weeks of being born. Um, in Guatemala, I mean, if, if they do survive because they can't breastfeed, and in these rural communities, if you can't breastfeed at that age and they can't afford formula, a lot of the children uh, just don't make it. Um, and if they do, they have all sorts of stunting or, um, you know, mental... Uh, issues due to um, malnutrition. But if they do make it, oftentimes they live in the back room of their parents' home for the rest of their lives. There was a woman that lived literally across this dirt road, this one lane dirt road of Paqui. And I didn't know she lived there for the first year and a half. Her name was Virginia. And after uh, we'd done several surgeries, her father uh, brought her over to my house and he introduced me, and I mean, I had six months left before I went back to the United States after two years when I was just meeting this woman. Um, and very few people in the village knew that she was even um, still alive, and I literally never met her. She had a cleft lip and a cleft palate, it was a very severe cleft lip and palate, so her whole face was really deformed uh, from the nose down. And she's married now, actually. She, uh, we got her surgery. Um, Actually, she, I was there when she, I always, I always get real emotional when I talk about her, mm. but she, uh, I was there when she first saw her face and her face was swollen because right after surgery, it's, you know, a lot of stitches mm. and the face is swollen, but um, <clears throat> she, uh, she smiled so broadly that it actually tore, unfortunately, so she had to come back like <laughs> six months later, <laughs> but um, she, it, right now it looks great, and as I said, I went back two years after I finished up as a Peace Corps volunteer, and I couldn't believe that she was married. So, um, we try to get to them, obviously, when they're kids, and so that they don't have this kind of uh, memory even of, uh, you know, being the ostracized person in their community. And that's, those are cleft lips and palates. Uh, now we have a, we work with hundreds and hundreds of midwives who deliver 80% of the kids in, in the rural communities so that they can identify the kids when they're born and to our, our rural um, volunteers. And that enables us to get to them before they actually uh, die in the first you know, couple months. We also do cataracts. I was talking with somebody earlier. There's a guy on the poster, if you can stand to look at the pictures. Um, the, there's a guy on the poster uh, named Francisco. He had been blind for 20 years. We, we brought a doctor out to Chisek 
and cataracts take about 10 minutes to operate on. He had dual cataracts. Uh, his grandson, who was nine years old, he'd never seen him. He'd never seen his grandson. Uh, he had uh, Dr. Cheatham operated on both eyes, and the next day, he uh, we took off both the patches, and you can see the picture 10 minutes after Francisco, and my dad's uh, holding his arm, I think, over there. My dad has a beard. And uh, he he could see. I mean, so it's it's amazing. These are really life-changing kind of rebirth type of experiences. And if you'd like to learn more about the organization, please visit www.partnerforsurgery.org. Thank you so much for making our campaign successful.